This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Audio crossfades, all right? If you don't know what they are, you're about to find out. You're about to use them on every single project from now until forever. In Final Cut 10, they just added it to make it super easy. Um, yeah, let's dive right in. This is one of those things that you're gonna be using all the time. So first thing I'm gonna show you how to do is create a shortcut for this. I'm using Option C, because literally you'll use it on every single project. That means keyboard shortcut. Go up here to Final Cut Pro at the top in Commands. Go ahead and hit Customize. Once you're there, come up here to the top left and hit Duplicate on default. Name that whatever you want, my commands, whatever. Up here in the search box, go ahead and type cross and you're gonna see it there, click on that. Now go over here to C, tap on C, and then click on crossfade, slide that over here to the option modifier. Hit save. Okay, now you can close those commands. I have two clips down here, Jesse Driftwood, Sorella Moore, having a conversation in Belfast, Northern Ireland. I'm gonna let you listen to it the way it sounds without a crossfade applied, and then I'm gonna add the crossfade. You've heard this a million times in a million different videos. It's just that pop or that click that happens when two clips are backed up against each other and there's not silence in between the two clips. So this is what it sounds like. Lovely again, he had leather. Lovely again, he had leather. Lovely again, he had leather. You hear it? You hear just that, that little click there? That little click's exactly what I'm talking about. So in order to apply these crossfades, what you're gonna do is select both of the clips, hit option C, that's the command that we just set up, and now listen to it. Lovely again, he had leather. Lovely again, he had leather. Lovely again, he had leather. You see how smooth, like it doesn't sound like there's any crossfade going on, but it's just smoothing out those two clips. So it's something that's so, I really can't believe that this is the first time that they've added this functionality to Final Cut, but here we are. Just to show you what's going on, I'm gonna go ahead and right click on this and hit expand audio components. And when I zoom the whole way in, you can see here that it's extended both of these clips slightly into the other one. It's kind of the start of a J or an L cut. If you're a more advanced editor, you know what that means. I have a video on that if you wanna go and watch it. Not only has it extended the audio of each of these clips into the other, it's also added this S-curve crossfade. How to use this and when to use this. Let me get into that right after I thank the sponsor of this video, Squarespace. I'm majorly thankful to Squarespace, not only for supporting me, for sponsoring my videos, but also for giving me a platform that I can professionally showcase my work to potential clients and clients that have actually landed this year. You need a professional place to show your work, Squarespace is that. Fantastic templates, just make it easy for you to put your work on the internet for people to go and easily see, contact you. You can grab domains straight from Squarespace, so they make that simple, it's like all in one. It's your all in one website editor. They also enable you to set up an email right with your domain, so Cody at CodyWarner.com, whatever, which is, which is huge for clients. They wanna know that you're legit, and when you have an email that's attached to your website, it's just like, okay, above board, let's get to work. If you wanna try out Squarespace, go to squarespace.com slash Cody Warner and get a two week free trial. And then when you're ready to buy, use the code Cody Warner to get 10% off your order. Squarespace, thanks again. Okay, workflow on this, how and when to use it. 99% of the time, I'm gonna advise you to just edit your whole entire video, just as you would, then select all of the talking clips, all of the clips that have sound attached to them, select all of them, then hit that option C, just apply a crossfade to everything. 99% of the time, that's gonna work just fine. If you want a more precise workflow after you've done editing and you're on your like semi-final watch through, you could just add it to the two clips that are creating pops, right? Like as, as you're going. I tend to just like things fast and quick and dirty and just like get it done. So that's why I'm applying it to everything. Whatever you're doing, just make stuff, all right? Just start making stuff. Just put it out there on the internet and like, let's get this done, all right? If you wanna know more about JNL Cuts, watch that video and uh, yeah, just, just make some stuff. Thanks for being here.